where we are. We are on my favorite ridge. It's about 11 a.m. right now. Um, it's going to do an overnighter. We're going to get out, fill out what's going on, see what things have changed. Brought my $50 four wheeler with me. Yeah, I'll tell you about that. But it's just simple stuff. Getting out and enjoying a little bit of this nature. Uh, overkill. I just grabbed up boxes with camping stuff in it and took off because I got some other stuff that I want to do. And I want to build a different shelter system, but I want to build it away, and that's why I kind of brought the four wheeler because I'm going to go about four and a half miles on the four wheeler out away and kind of hurry up and build this thing as quick as possible today. So we'll get back to y'all later. Working on primitive skills. I just don't know if I can do this or not, but I'm going to try the 70s method, the late 70s, and then it was pretty good, I guess. Now that is Georgia fatwood at its best, with some charcoal and some charcoal lighter fluid. <laughs> just messing with y'all I ain't got time to sit here and build a primitive fire today I'm running out of daylight I need to get this thing going so I got it going catch y'all later well there you go guess what not so primitive is it Alan <laughs> well I was thinking what if just curious what if a unicorn come riding through the woods and it had a princess on it she don't want no shack. So I built her a palace in the pack. You know, I'm just messing with you. This is what I ended up doing. I decided to just see if I wanted to go for a long-term camp, maybe a little bit longer and be able to weather through it. So that's what I pretty much did. I took a 10 by 20 tarp, uh, run it across a ridge line, and then I run another ridge line for basically a lean-to with a back. The other five feet that was left on it, I actually put it underneath for the tarp for the tent to go under and I've got my little fire thing set out here like I said I wasn't going today I'm not going out into the woods tomorrow I'm going to go build a more primitive type shelter with my little four-wheeler but I just wanted to go ahead and get camp set up over here so I could get an early start in the morning just get out that's basically all this is about just getting up getting out checking out some stuff so that's pretty much it and we'll be back this damn hammock thing here together I got this sucker tied low one for a chair so I can kind of just hang out this way like I told y'all before I've never been into the hammock things but I had this one I didn't even know it was a hammock it came in a bunch of stuff one day I was looking at it but it I put two sticks inside of it it widens it up. I'm just going to go back with the initial rope thing with it. Um, how somebody else had had it tied before because it is well, naturally. It's one of the military ones. With them sticks, it kind of tilts it just a smidgen. Of course, that's the ropes too, I'm assuming. They're kind of kicked back. Not ang or angled in even either, but I mean, it does fine. But I'm going to snatch the sticks out of it. Of course, I'm just basically setting up today, checking out some stuff. Kind of, I bought a 10 by 20 chart or a 10 by 20 tarp, and I was setting up different ways of setting it up and just seeing how different ways of turning it in. I kind of showed a, a little video at the beginning, and you'll see some more of it as we go by through the day and stuff. Well, not today, maybe tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm going to get on my four-wheeler and I'm going to ride out the service road that's out through there, and it's kind of opened up, and see if I can't find me a good spot to make me some type of permanent shelter for when I'm hiking that I can just hike out there. So, kind of cheating in a sense, but I also want to be ready for spring and summer when it gets here, that my camp areas are set up. 
and I can just go out there and enjoy it instead of going out there and actually wondering, well, I wonder if I'll get it set up in time or, you know, just basically be prepared. I don't like this damn hammock thing here, so I'm going to probably end up buying me a new one. I've looked at several of them. I could see the comfort in it, though. But ever since I put those sticks in it, they didn't... It kind of feels like it's tilting me down. Of course, and again, my fat butt may not be sitting in it right either. But see how these sticks up here, I can tell that they're twisting. I mean, you could lay this way. But the other way, it just kind of nestles you right in. So I may go that route and just take them old sticks out of it and try it again. So let's just see if that works better. Because this just ain't cutting it for me. And then getting my fat butt out of it this low makes it even harder. But I got some water boiling. I'm going to make some ramen noodles a little bit later. I got my suspenders out. Just got to tighten them back up. There we go, pull the fat back up. Well, there we go. Now, but anyway, now that damn smoke. With that shelter system, I step in it, I can tell at least a 20 degree difference just from that little bit of fire, but how the wind has been knocked down and over the last few hours of the sun heating it up in here, I put the reflecting side, the silver side, underneath the bottom to help reflect some of the heat. I'll blaze this Allen style here in a little while, get some heat going up in there to where it'll flow through. My, I put my tin inside of it, or down inside of it, put me up two walls on each side of it to kind of block off some of the wall air because the wind is blowing basically it's coming out of the north and it's kind of rolling into a northeast which i've got my thing facing my front it's basically facing south right now basically southeast so i'll kind of knock some of that northeast wind off of me so i kind of changed this camp area site right here up a little bit from the way i normally do it because normally the wind would basically be it comes up out of the north and just comes flowing right straight in so I changed it. I done the old. But then I also looked on my phone to see which way the winds was, the major wind was blowing. So that kind of helped me out. So, but anyway, let's get some grub started here a little bit, and I'll get back with y'all. So peace out. All right, let's do some camp cooking. I got the water, it's boiled, it's done. Little cranked radio's freaking out on me over there. Get some old cast iron out. Get it snapped back into place. Get the old skillet here heated up. Make sure she's good and clean. Who cares, I'm camping. Now let's go find some snosnages. That's what somebody called them once. In the cooler. Non-primitive camping. Drop my name sausage. If that pan gets a little heated. See if it sizzles. You know, worst time of the day and night if you're out primitive camping. Some lessons here. Don't cook at dark. Get your little fat belly full around 3 or 4 o'clock. Because guess what comes out at dark? All your little critters and all your little buddies. And they go to sniffing and they go to smelling. Now, I'm about to cut my water bowl. Then... Later tonight, I'll probably hang out, put up an Allen fire out here. 
I was talking with him earlier, we were kind of conversing over the phone, and I was always kidding him about his big fires. And I've kind of realized that I take a lantern unless I'm out and, you know, just out backpacking. And then I still take a small, you know, lantern, but not a propane lantern. But I've got plenty of light when I take that. And that light is that comfort sometimes when things go bump. But anyway. Let's let this tea steep for about four minutes. Water's good and hot. All my sausages are cooking. That particular one's a pomegranate. Um, let's see if you can. It's actually pretty good. You can see that the coloring is already changing inside of it to that dye of the pomegranate. But you can smell it. I was talking about it. I mean, it's got a good smell, good flavor to it. I've just tried these tea bags here, but. Very good. It's kind of a sweet taste in itself without it having to be sweetened or anything. You know, kind of like some like a coffee black. But get back over here to the sausages. <laughs> They're cooking up pretty good. They're popping. About five more minutes. Boys, coming out. Maybe a few more minutes, and then I'll drop my noodles. I'll fill my water, and we'll be eating here in just a few minutes. Okay. Well, here we are, ready to eat. I got it. sour cream and chive mashed potatoes my chicken flavored ramen noodles and my Italian sausages so one skillet I can tell you this it's better than bannock easy made mashed potatoes Well, there you go. This is how I'm going to eat tonight. So, I'll be back with you. Um, I drank all my tea before it was ever done. Temperature's getting cooler. About 28. Outside, inside here. Looks like it's 45. So... I don't even have a fire blazing. That's just a cook fire right there. So I'm going to chow this down, get it cleaned up. Um, probably put me on another thing of tea. Smoke my pipe. Probably call Brad Allen here in a minute. Chit chat for a little bit. He's out camping tonight too. Um, we've talked a little bit earlier. I'm going to blaze up that fire just a little bit and blow since I got this here in here and try to get some heat off up in here. Of course, I mean, I'm not going to freeze to death. I mean, there's no possible way. I got enough quilts and stuff inside of that there to just really sleep out here on the ground. But I got some plans for tomorrow. I keep telling y'all that, but it's just me. I keep thinking. One bad thing about eating Italian sausage is this late. I might be blazing my fire up out here and talking to y'all all night with heartburn or something. <laughs> but I'll get back with you in a minute. Guys, it's time to make my son a new walking stick. 
I got this thing out of the woods. It was bent over. He comes up to here on me. So if he comes up to here, you want it just a little bit over his head so that he would be able to still be able to hold it down here and walk with it. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for this afternoon. And make an arrow shaft and I'm gonna make a quick primitive bow as quick as possible that is not intended to take down deer by no means but more intended on being able to a small rabbit or something like that if you could get up to it um, it's not going to be no 75 pound bow it's just going to be a quick green sapling tree shaved down hardened bent tillered as much as possible by hand and slap on some bank line to it or maybe paracord I'm probably going to go with bank line just because it's something simple easy to do and we'll sling an arrow out of some homemade fletching it's just a blunt tip uh, there's no flint out here where I'm at so we'll we might carve a bone if we can find one of them out here because there's generally plenty but that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing but first I'm going to make him a new walking stick out of this here it'll have some character and I'll harden it while I'm out here by the fire so let's get busy and get to work on working on him a new stick so basically just getting the old bark off of it playing with it this is what I call surviving because generally if you've got shelter you've got food you've got water you don't occupy yourself that's what would be the next drive you insane thing that they would be so that's all this is it's just occupying my time until time to go to sleep and then tomorrow if I was out doing stuff I would work on improving my shelter for the most part of the day and then at night when it's dark you can't see anything I will sit back reflect and do a little carving maybe do some sewing if I had the stuff but that's just what I would do I mean not saying that's what everyone should do so I'm gonna zip this all the way down and I'll be back we'll see you in a little <laughs> 